I'm Katie Gray. Um, I do mostly like line work at the moment and pairing it with my poetry and writing. It's like just been my thing since I was like you know in kindergarten all the way up through to yeah now these two. Yeah. Um, the yeah uh, I guess because it's um, revolved around feminism obviously. Um, yeah, it's just certain things that I've responded to and having to face in everyday life, sort of um, like the I won't smile for you so many times I've been told because I don't smile very often that, you know, you'd be a lot prettier if you smile or, you know, um, you're a female, you should smile more. It doesn't really make sense, but mm. um, yeah, so they're just responses to that, I suppose, challenging it through people I met at uni. Um, she was friends with someone that curates a lot of art exhibitions so we became friends and now I sort of you know contact her if I want to be involved in any <laughs> exhibitions she's got going on and um, yeah so I get to get involved in a lot more Melbourne exhibitions which is exciting. I started studying at Monash but um, it's very contemporary at the moment and I like illustrating and yeah actually like drawing not installation sort of work so I'm looking into going to like a different school, but yeah, so at the moment I'm not studying. Oh, really important. Um, I think it's a really good way for anyone to express themselves in any sort of art form. And I think that's really um, essential for sort of, I don't know, making connections with people and, I don't know, expressing yourself emotionally. I think it's, yeah, really important. It's how I, um, understand the world around me and how I express my voice because as you can see I'm really awkward at talking and <laughs> not good at communicating so uh, yeah it's much easier to communicate what I'm feeling and it sort of um, I don't know like it brings a sense of inner resolve being able to express myself in a way that other people relate to and other people can like see without you know awkwardly speaking like I am now. <laughs> I think it's really important um, at one stage I wanted to be like an art therapist which you know is to do with the whole art can really help psychologically and um, yeah I think it's yeah, really important for all people whether they're creating it or just you know being involved in it so yeah I think it's helpful. <laughs> I suppose the art scene sort of um, I don't know, varies really like a very wide <laughs> scale like it depends on sort of what area you're going like different I know that's really hard to put into words because <laughs> there's such diversity nowadays with like different styles of art it ranges from you know like illustrators to you know installations sort of stuff to like you know what is art type of practice to actually you know drawing and all that as much time as I can so yeah just whenever I get sort of like an idea or whatever I'm always scribbling it down to you know redo later or you know just constantly building my collection of artworks <laughs> well my dad is so that's positive he's always yeah interested in like what exhibitions I have coming up and um yeah always helping me fund it because mm. it's you know quite expensive especially if you're not earning much <laughs> at the moment no so it's really difficult but um yeah i'm looking into getting part-time work or you know just something to fund it it's becoming i think more prominent like now um drawing because uh illustrating sort of um the culture of it's sort of becoming more popular and more relatable so i think you can really work with it quite well because you can do a lot with like drawing like you can say so much in just an illustration. Facebook I mainly use to contact people, um, Instagrams where I mainly post a lot of my art and uh, promote it as such or yeah making more art connections other than Melbourne like because yeah, you can get in contact with so many different people through Instagram. But yeah, Facebook's mainly for like events and things like exhibitions because it's an yeah, easy way to contact people. Just be able to live off it comfortably, like off my art would be amazing. 
which is really hard for an artist because there's so many artists <laughs> trying to do that. Um, but yeah, not having to have an extra job along with doing art would be awesome. Really, really research into what sort of uni you want to be going into. Um, because yeah, I went up in uni because it's like Monash has got a good name, um, but the art classes weren't like custom to what like my art practice. So it was really essentially pointless in going. So yeah, for year 12s, I would say research more deeply into your university or yeah and get involved in as many things as you can outside of class as well because that always helps build your confidence in your art practice and you know, getting your name out there.